to our iCam 10 degree table here. I'm gonna highlight the whole table, Control J, add two. Now, I know, or kind of a rule of thumb, I should say, columns one, two, three, and four, I normally don't wanna see them go much above 40 degrees at the most. And then as we get up into the higher load range here, we're gonna be finding it tapers back. I always make sure that my columns eight, nine, and 10 are gonna be the same, so my timing is consistent. We've added two more degrees. Let's do Control L, let's get online. Let's do Control U and upload those changes, blip the throttle a little bit, all right? And then let's make a pull and see by giving a little bit more fuel and then adding another two degree spark timing, we're getting closer to maximum brake torque. And we obviously saw a positive change going from zero to 10 degree. So that was a huge gain in power. Let's see if we can optimize this a bit further. Let's go in here, put it fourth gear, start our data log, let's make a pull. F10, let's stop it. And we can see it gained a little bit. It wasn't a lot. Um, we're seeing about maybe two to three horsepower and probably about two to four foot pounds of torque. It had a gain, not that much. So I'm not gonna go any more with my ignition timing. And now we can see that we actually got a knock count. So let's jump in and take a look at this. You can see panning through here, our air fuel is relatively flat, but let's look at our ignition timing. We can see here that we got the knock count right here at this point. So right around 3,500, from 34 to 35, we see it counts up. So let's go right into that spot for knock. We can see that's happening right here. So I'm gonna jump into my table. I'm gonna go here and bump it down a degree and even at 3,900. Um, let's take a look at our Lambda overlay. Just see what we're gonna have here. We have pretty much zero. So I'm going to leave this alone Right here at 36 and below, I'll go ahead and add another 2%. But otherwise, my lambda overlay is on point. I saw that I probably reached or I'm right around maximum brake torque right now for my 10 degree. Let's copy our 10 degree fuel and ignition into our 20 degree, lock our camera angle at 20, and then let's go through and make a pull. Let's do the same process here. So we're gonna grab our 10 degree, uh, uh, 10 degree fuel table, copy into 20 degree, jump into our Go back to our 10 degree spark timing, copying it into our 20 degree, going into our cam angle table here, control J, let's set it to 20. Let's save it, F10 to get back online, close our data log, control U and upload it. I'm revving my throttle a little bit, keep the engine running, except that that change, let's wait till the wide band stabilizes and we're gonna be doing the same thing again. Let's just give it a second. I like to make sure it's going to be consistent. Now,